see we're getting very serious today. And if you have questions about like, what, we have these ingredients in here, but like, okay, cool. What do they actually do though? So we're really lucky today uh, to be with. My name is Mark Stuckey. I'm head of open R&D for North America. And this is Michael, and Michael is the one who actually works in the lab and, and runs all the equipment. What we've got, what you can see here is you can start, you can see that split in has already happened. Um, but the important piece is you see this big crack here. Um, and you see all of these spots. Um, this piece of hair was obviously chemically damaged. Um, and there's a lot of thermal damage. So you see a lot of waviness in the cuticle. Um, you see a lot of spotting. So this is where um, on, on hair that is, doesn't have a thermal protectant on it, and you put a flat iron or blow dryer on it, what happens is you superheat the, the water within the hair and it actually explodes out and cr creates these craters right here. Um, you get these, these cracks and crevices. Um, so that's what you're actually seeing here. So wait, really quick, going back to the first thing that you said about how that is going to boil and cause a weak It point. already has. Okay, got it. That's because you heat style the hair. That's what that basically is right. coming from. Okay. But, but then, like, we want hair to be really moisturized, but then it's just the heat styling that ruins it. Right. And, got and it. And that's okay. why products that have some sort of thermal protectants, that's why okay. the Fortify products are very important to put on your hair. Even if you're doing a quick touch up on, on, on a flat iron or a blow dry, uh, I've seen it done a thousand times. I know you do it. Uh, you get home from work, you're going out with, with boyfriend, husband, whomever. Um, you hit to, to smooth it down. What happens is that real quick causes these to happen. So I know in our vibrancy line, we're launching a heat protection spray. Right. Can you? Like in an instance like this, if I am gonna like heat style it, flat iron it, whatever, can you tell me how does a heat protective product actually work if this, if like the water's already in the hair, like how does the heat protection actually work? The heat protectant does a couple different things. One, it puts a barrier that absorbs some of the heat coming from the flat iron. Um, and, and it absorbs it and prevents that transfer of heat from the flat iron to the, uh, to the hair shaft. So ideally what you do is you get the hair hot enough to actually be able to shape and smooth and do whatever, but not so hot to actually boil the water that's within the hair. Um, a lot of people who flat iron their hair probably have their flat irons too hot um, and, and, you, and don't use thermal protectants. So if you're gonna crank that flat iron up to four, 450 degrees, you got to put on some sort of thermal protectant, um, any of the ones that we have, to really ensure that that boiling doesn't come out. So could it almost, like if your hair is so hydrated, so moisturized, and you don't use a heat protectant, could it almost like hinder your hair yeah. the more moisturized it is, and then you use a hot tool with no heat protectant, you actually, like that's even worse potentially. Yeah. There's, okay. more, there's more available water to boil out. Wow, that um, is so insane. Here's, just, awesome. so, just here's our newest uh, heat protection spray okay. for the Vibrancy and Fiber Clinics. So that in a nutshell is just like why you literally cannot ever put, no matter how healthy it is, how hydrated it is, you can't put hot tools on your hair without heat protected because even the more water is in there, the more hydrated, even more opportunity for that to boil and cause yeah. cause issues. Yeah. That's a common misconception, I feel like. People are like, well, my hair is healthy. Like, do I need this? Like, no, you need it. You need it. A hundred percent always. Yeah. Even more if the better your hair is. E even more, the better your hair is, and even more if your hair is fine or thin. And I think most people will say that their hair is fine, thin. Um, and, and if it is, that's less area for that heat to have to transfer through. So it gets in real quick and, and it doesn't take much to transfer that in, um, to that heat in. It, it really is a very quick process. And a lot of times when you do that flat iron, you'll do it four or five times. And, and I've seen many people do that and all of a sudden they don't, they grab their hair right behind and they go, oh, that's hot. Well, if it's too hot for your hands, it's too hot for the water within your hair and you're, you're already causing that damage. 